Not having in the game KVR Studios playing some Infinite Warfare Online. I don't know what the deal is with this game, okay? First of all, it's not... The connection is pretty bad. Now, maybe, and I think this is something that is definitely an oversight on my part. My television has a gaming mode just for video games so what that does is it takes out all the the extra stuff that you put on to make your picture look better so when you do that it uh supposedly reduces the input lag so you have a better response from when you do a certain thing with your controller and it shows up on the screen okay cool so, I have it on gaming mode now. After I upload this video, I'm going to test it again and see whether that was the main issue or not. I also just upgraded my internet. Look at this fail right here. Uh, I upgraded my internet to the, uh, the fastest package because they had a good deal going on where it was just $5 more a month for six months. So, I was like, why not? Maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe it's just, I don't know. Maybe it's just Call of Duty. I will test these new settings on uh, Infinite Warfare and COD 4 Remastered, and I will see exactly what's going on. If it changes, cool. If it changes for the better, cool. If it changes for the worse, then I don't know. What I don't like is the fact that in this game, you see I'm using a shotgun right now. There's plenty of times last night where I would get many many hit markers on people with the shotgun close range and they wouldn't die now if I was playing regular mode or core or whatever that would be cool you know it, it wouldn't be cool it'd be un more understandable this is hardcore so there shouldn't be me being a foot in front of a guy shooting him and then he survives to kill me i think i i, I mean is that that's lag right that's got to be lag i don't i don't know what else it could be you know um the enemy is halfway there. there shouldn't be a reason why in hardcore where you're right in front of somebody you shoot them you get a hit marker but yet you die see it worked it worked perfectly right there so i'm guessing that it had to have been lag now, I'm not going to blame that on my TV or on my internet because my internet is pretty good. I've been doing speed tests all day, especially yeah, now that I've upgraded it. So, you know, it's pretty good. And it was pretty good last night because I don't have slow-ass internet. So, I don't know. Uh, uh, every Call of Duty game has its uh, problems with connections and whatnot. This one seems to be very unique, different. Um... It seems to be kind of bad, like really bad, like not something that you would expect from Infinity Ward, like for real, but COD is going to COD, I guess. So you just roll with the punches and whatever, and you just go from there. What else can I do besides get my care package stolen? That happens a lot in this game too, but whatever. It is what it is. Uh, the game isn't as bad as I thought it was. The uh, connection issues really kill it, just like every other card game. So by the time the next Call of Duty comes out and everybody's on that, then this game should be running really smooth. That's generally how it goes. Like, you literally can wait a year. If you could take a year off from Call of Duty, this was, this was my plan. I was not planning on getting this game. The only reason why I got it, I said this in the last video, is because it was on sale. So that's why I got it. But the reason, well, the, what I've noticed is that everybody's playing it, the connection is going to be terrible. Once the new Call of Duty game comes out, people migrate over to that one, then it gets a lot smoother, it gets a lot better, and it becomes more enjoyable. Look back at my old videos with uh, Advanced Warfare. I used to give that game hell. If I, I can get on Advanced Warfare right now and have a blast. Same thing with Ghost. I wasn't that critical of Ghost. A lot of people didn't like Ghost. 
there were some things in Ghost that I liked that they didn't bring back in this game in Infinite Warfare. Squad mode was really cool. Uh, it, it really allowed you to still play online without actually... If there wasn't enough people to play online like it is now, uh, at certain times in the night, if you really needed... An, if you had an itch for to play COD Ghost and you wanted an online setting you could get on squads and it i mean it it wasn't perfect it wasn't like the the con computer controlled squad was just uh, comparable to humans but it it did its job it, it served its purpose so i was kind of hoping they'd bring it back but you know they didn't and whatever i don't know uh like i said in the beginning of the video there's not that much boosting um, that I noticed there I mean you can it's still an option but to me it seems different than um, Black Ops 3 where the boosting was kind of like not forced on you but you had to pretty much just I mean you it feels like it wasn't forced but like you kind of there was more opening to do it and the maps were made so that you there were more boosting opportunities there are boosting opportunities here in this game but the maps are pretty i like the maps actually um and i mean uh, infinity war really makes good maps uh cod ghost the maps were eh, you know besides a few a handful of them they were kind of i don't know but uh it, it's not as much of a Black Ops 3 clone as it, I thought it would be at first, but still pretty cool. Um, I'm going to keep playing it just because, I mean, you know, I have this, Titanfall 2, Battlefield 1, uh, between COD 4, Infinite Warfare, Titanfall 2, and Battlefield 1. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty good on shooters, so I'm thinking about getting the new Mass Effect, but people are trashing that game, so I don't know, but... Uh, this was originally a 15 minute video, but I'm going to cut it short right now. It's seven minutes because I can just ramble on and ramble on and ramble on. But anyway, uh, let me go ahead and get to testing this and trying to see whether I can fix this, uh, this lag situation in this game. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios. I will have an update on it in the next video. Might be coming up this weekend, might be next week. I don't know, but I'm out.